Hello, everyone. Welcome to a regular What's So Saturday. Oh. It does feel like we haven't done one in forever because we kind of, kind of haven't. We haven't really. We haven't done one for two full weeks, which oh. feels like a long time when you're kind of on this like rhythm of like doing it every single I week. I know. Then you feel really off. Like I was yeah. taking my screenshots for this and I was like totally doing it wrong. We usually like write the date that it's from on the screenshot and I was like not doing that for half of them. Like, Oops. Guess okay. I just don't know how to do we What's So Saturday. We have to get back in the swing of things. Yes. So this is going to be the What's on Saturday for the 19th through the 25th. And we have a couple things planned for this What's on Saturday. So we're gonna just give some like video updates and life updates just for like two minutes in the beginning. Then we're gonna jump into What's on Saturday and of course Valentine VIP. And then we have a couple PO box packages to open up at the end that we are very, very excited about. To kick it off, I just wanted us to talk about our little vacation that we had oh, for a sec. So necessary. I talked about it, it so nice. in the intro to the thrift with us, but I thought maybe if Ryan had anything to contribute. I needed a break. It was a good so unplug nice. for a full week. We went up north mm -hmm. to a cabin with a bunch of like Debbie's side of the family and we just have this big like family vacation at this yeah. resort. Oh, it was so much fun. Didn't really use phones, didn't use mm -hmm. laptops, didn't do nope. anything. It just was... kind of like hung out by the lake all the time and like took the dogs for the walks and like had some really good little food at some of the little like local spots. It was really nice. Yeah. 2023 has been a crazy <sighs> Crazy, crazy, crazy year for us. It's so gonna get crazier. If we have been a little less consistent than usual, or a little <sighs> more tired in some videos, or just a little off every once in a while, it is just because it has been endless. There's a lot that we don't even like talk about. Obviously, you guys know that we moved into our very first da -da -da -da. house ever. That's this. Our fridge decided to die when we got home, so yeah. now we don't have a fridge. Like That's the, fun. We've been filling the house with furniture. We've been painting rooms. We've painted three rooms now. We have been doing a ton of stuff in the backyard the oh person that lived here before us left the yard in like shambles we've Didn't been take care of it all kinds of stuff cutting down trees i of course my car was hit by a school bus this year so i had to get a new car early in the year just out of nowhere and ryan has transitioned jobs you guys yeah know that at this i got point. a job i lost that job funding nothing of my own doing and then i got a different job and that new job is going really well mm -hmm. i had orientation last week which if you work at education you know how difficult those two days of orientation are because it's eight hours of of non-stop information bombardment. Like and my class. brain feels like puddles right now. Yeah. We've also, of Ugh. course, been having all kinds of company from all over the place, including like Ryan having Love. out of state company to visit our new house. Yes. We have a new puppy, as you guys know, Will. Yeah, Will. So it He's is doing just... good. He got neutered on Wednesday. Yeah. He was doing wonderful. He does look like a little tutu toy <laughs> in his like cone. It's quite cute. And that's just part of it. Like it's been so that's much. From like January to Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> and we have a lot. We already know there's a lot more coming this year too like that's in the books that we know about so you hear about that as it's happening it's just like it's crazy it's been crazy and so to just get one week one week where we of could just, just exhale nothing. has been fantastic Oh, it's been wonderful. It was so it's nice. been so good. And we didn't get any other vacations. Usually, you guys know we go to Chicago, and usually Ryan mm. and I actually go up north for like a long weekend each summer. We didn't do either of those this year. We just a, didn't have money or time. It. B, we had to get things done at the house. Yeah, you know. There's our little life update. At some point soon, we probably should do like a Q and A. Maybe in the fall, we'll do like a fall yeah. Q and A. Oh, that'll be fun. We'll sit out in the leaves, and we can film like oh my outside. Gosh. We can use those fun little like TikTok microphones. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make ASMR. We'll just completely pivot. But we'll probably do ASMR. we'll probably do like a fall Q and A. I just feel like there's been a lot. We haven't had as much time to like one on one with you guys. I feel like in a hot minute since moving. Yeah, we maybe literally. did like a really early on after moving Q and A, but we haven't done one since. And I just feel like there's been so we much. We do need so. to do another one. But I suppose we should jump okay. into the regular sales now. Well, actually, one more thing before we do. I said I was going to talk about this too. Coming up this week, we do have the fall 2023 trend report. I have started the research on it. That is going to be on Tuesday. We are yes. super excited. And after that, you guys know we kick into fall mode on the Ugh. channel. That means fall bolos. It's going to be that so means good. Fall related videos, falls. 
fall halls, hall Halloweens, which are halls in October. Like we just kick off all of the great fall stuff, which I'm very, very excited about. And for the Valentines, on Wednesday, right after the trend report, there is going to be a little extension to the trend report for you guys. It's going to be a video where we talk about something related to the trend report. So we're not gonna give it away yet, but you, have to wait you, guys, to you guys- It'll be good though, it'll be a fun time. You guys get a bonus this week. So we're excited about that as well. Yeah. And then haul part two on Thursday. So let's jump into it now that we've rambled for a good five minutes as per usual. At the end of the video, we have some P.O. Box mail, I would like to say, and I know what one of them are. I know what one of them are. I know. Our teacher, none of the English teacher. <laughs> so starting off, we would love to, speaking of the Valentines, highlight the Valentine VIP of the week. Oh, my favorite time of the day. And our Valentine VIP this week is Kendra. Kendra. And no, it's not Kendra Scott. She's not Can a Valentine. Can you imagine? She's like, <laughs> She's I not love a Valentine. you too. So this is Kendra W, and she goes by Winifred B as her username on Poshmark. I know her. At W-I-N-I-F-R-E-D-B-E-E, -E -E, but it is also right here if you want to check out her closet. It is also the first link below, and you should go check out her closet. Yes. I can already see she has a bunch of good stuff, and she actually, in my screenshot I took of her closet, she has something that is going to be in the trend report. Kendra is planning ahead, so good yes, for Kendra. Kendra. Kendra makes an appearance on my little sales chart this oh, week. Oh, yes, really? she does. Nice. I well, know. thank you, thank you for being a Valentine, Kendra. We really appreciate it. Much appreciated. So let's move on to the oh. sales. And this week, I will say, started off not like crazy, but suddenly, these past like two days, I've felt this like fall it's sales breeze air. blowing. Mm -hmm. With the weather getting a little cooler today, there's been this like little breeze oh, it's of like sales so nice. moving in. And I was like, is this the start? <laughs> is this the start of something special? Was that? Is this the start of the fall? Was that? Where he's like, his, his, his like six in. hairs just go straight up. I'm so excited. I love yeah. Linus. So I have two Mercari that I want to talk about. I have three, I have three eBay that I want to talk about. I love about. the film. I've seen it twice. <laughs> And then the usual, the posh, Use. the poshies. I will do about well, my other stuff first because I actually had sales on yeah. all the other platforms. That's pretty good. Which so is fun. I'm gonna start off with Mercari. On Mercari, Except my that one. <laughs> on Mercari, my first sale was for my own personal collection, and it was this Tory Burch Carrington cosmetic case, makeup bag, ribbon weave, bias all over. That was like her print name, bias, bias. Bias. Isn't that like the fabric thing? This uh, biases have something to do with like fabric and which way the thing stretches, and uh, I don't know. I'm not a sure. seamstress. I'm but it's the name teacher. of her print. I do know that. So <laughs> this was from my own personal collection. I actually have like two of these and I had a coach one. And then I found a really, 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 really good deal on a Louis one one time on the Real Real in my favorite print. So I hopped on that. So I decided when I got that that I should probably sell some of my other ones. So I'm selling this Tory Burch one that sold for 104 which is Heck fantastic. Yeah. That's literally like half of what I paid for the Louis one. And then my coach one had actually sold a while ago too for like 70 So that was Perfect. really nice. And my other Mercari sale was this mage pleated tiered midi sleeveless satin dress. I actually think that this was a bins find. Yes, it, it was. It was a great one. Mm -hmm. And this sold for 68 with the buyer paying shipping. So I will get probably like about 60-ish from that. Moving on to eBay. I will talk about my Ebays. And eBay is really where this like fall breeze of sales. I had a decent in. eBay sale this week, show. Just so you guys know, these three eBay sales all happened, I think yesterday, and they all happened yesterday, like mm -hmm. on the same day. First up, Moschino Spring Summer 2018 My Little Pony Striped Track oh, Sweatpants. I love These the sold stuff. for $284, which is fan freaking tastic. What was your asking price? And the buyer paid shipping. I think I had these priced like $340 ish, so that I would send out. I would send out like $300 on them. Interesting. Great offer. Then I sold this Sue Sartor, which is a bolo. That was on our last mm -hmm. dress bolo list. Paloma Flounce Brick and Wheat Boho Maxi Dress. She's kind of like a Christy Dawn, but actually even like more elevated. Brick and Wheat. Colors. Oh, I thought it was like a Brick and Wheat pattern. No. Colors. You should know about colors. I Though do. we've learned that you don't know about colors. I do. <laughs> Actually, I think that's on part two of the haul. Ryan doesn't know colors. This sold for 250. I did have it priced at 400, but this was my like one Sue Sartor that wasn't getting as many likes as the others. It still had a handful of likes, but mm. I mean, also 250 isn't that bad of an offer no. on 400. And I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood to make some money. So sure. That's it. And then the best of all, but actually, 
Not my best sale of the week. What was your best sale? You'll see. <sighs> I sold this pair of Valentino V logo leather lilac mauve flats. These are so they were beautiful. Stunning. I love the V logo Valentino stuff. And these sold for 400 with the buyer paying shipping. So freaking oh. cute. That color is like every season because mm -hmm. the lavender ish undertones to it, good for spring and summer, but then it's like more of a gray toned down. Oh. So it's perfect for yeah. fall. Oh, love them. Okay, my one on eBay. What are you sad that I made sales? No, I'm irritated that I can't make any money. My one on eBay was actually a pretty decent sale for me. It was this Kurt Geiger neon green sequin quilted small Kensington flap chain bag that sold for 110. I don't know what I make because I don't know how to figure that out yet, but that was a good sale. Then on... Um, cute color, too. It was, it's like oh, Ryan's favorite color. I love green. <laughs> I, know, I wish I had something on, like, green today, but I don't. Okay, I made an Etsy sale for the first time in literally ever. I sold this pair of 1970s Bear Traps vintage wooden heels. They sold full price for $95. I found these at the Salvation Army in Des Moines, Iowa for $7.99 with a half-off coupon. Yay. Opa, so that was fun. I'm moving up in the world. I am going places. I'm an Etsy seller. on Etsy. I feel like everything I'm gonna have now is gonna be like crochet. I'm gonna be like Cindy Canning from Only Martyrs in the Building where she's like, only two more weeks in these tunics. It's gonna be me. Then on Depop. Not our life revolving around Only Martyrs in the Building now. It's so good. <laughs> if you don't watch it, please watch it. Please it's not Hulu, do. it is oh. so good. <laughs> Anyway, Depop actually had a really decent week for me. First one, I sold this Free People Y2K green cap sleeve striped baby tee. Sold for $20. I make something, 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 something. Then I sold this vintage red chiffon ruffle button front long sleeve blouse. Can you tell that I'm not getting used to reading these titles? Sold on the 21st for $25. Who's <laughs> trying report? Red. Um, that like exact blouse. There, there's your little preview. Just look at that blouse. That blouse. Every single this thing blouse. about it is like track record. Perfect. Then I sold this pair of Converse All Star Pro Leather Green Suede High Top Sneakers. Sold full price for 50 bucks. Next was this vintage 1980s Witchy Core Black Tiered Elastic Waist Maxi Skirt. Sold full price for $34. Then this Madewell Cotton Short Brimmed Bucket Hat. Sold for $20. And then a bundle, which I usually don't get too many bundles on Depop. I didn't this even was, know that you could. <laughs> this was a big one. Harley Davidson Y2K T-shirt. Brandy Melville, brown, little something, something. Weezer, Y2K black t-shirt. Y2K snap front hooded sweatshirt. I didn't have two of these items, but I messaged her and we figured it out. <laughs> it's nice. Bundle sold for $110. I do know how much I make on this one because it's in the screenshot. $93.39, which is pretty good for four little things that I just picked up at the bins. That is really good. And Y2K stuff always weighs nothing. Yes, it does, thankfully. So moving on to the Poshmark sales for this week. Like I said, this covers the 19th through the 25th. And on the 19th, I had three. And look it, I knew how many fingers to put up this time. I only have I'm one. growing and I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> so my first sale, hold on to your butts. This is the big one. And Ryan's probably gonna get mad because Ryan hates to see his fiance succeed. I just irritated that like nobody else is out here doing that. So Shut I up. <laughs> so I sold these Gucci GG Marmont Kilty Fringe Suede Heels. These and adorable. these I had listed at five hundred dollars and they purchased these for five hundred dollars. So that's great. We love a full price sale, especially on something that big. But like, who else out here in these streets is doing that? Yeah. No <laughs> And one. they got approved as authentic. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. I was so nervous. I will get 400 for these. That's and that's bad. great. I mean, this chocolate brown has been so popular for such mm -hmm. a long time. I'm not surprised that these did well. So then, from my own personal kitchen. <laughs> that I'm, <laughs> we use these in our kitchen. I sold these Anthropology Parrot Tropical Printed Sauce Dishes. They also could be just like little appetizer dishes, like nut We used them when we would make chicken nuggets. When Janine, Janine was came to visiting. visit and nobody could go anywhere because she kept everybody in the house. We would use them as sauce cups. For honey we would, mustard. When we would make our little girl dinner and like stumble back into bed. <laughs> so these sold for 46 Dang. Which is pretty good. And I get 36.80. It was a set of four, but still 46 is great. That is really good. And last on the 19th, I sold these Free People Seattle Pony Hair Leopard Mules. These sold for 51 and I get 37.82 because of a shipping discount. Cute. Okay, my first and only on the 19th was not a $500 pair of shoes. It was this Aster the Label Lace Align Midi Sleeveless Purple Dress sold for $22. Lisa Line. And I get 1760. Lisa Line. It was a bin's fine though, so perfect. 
Oh, that's right, you had that's one. That's it. Uh-huh. Thank you for rubbing it in. Oh, that's right. You only had one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and at 20th, I only had one. I only had one, too. Uh, loser. Oh. <laughs> if mine would have been more than you, I would have, like, <laughs> Anyway. On the 20th, yeehaw, my only sale was this Urban Outfitters iridescent cowboy hat. Which you? Yeah! What ya? So for $35, oh, and I get 28 Get on, get a dollar. Get little a dollar, yogi. little yogi. That was cute, though. I like yeah. the Urban Outfitters stuff. Okay. My cousin just moved to Houston for a yes, master's she program. Did. And we love to just, like, we send her, her all the, she, like, cowboy emojis. We bully her using Texas stereotypes. It's quite fun. <laughs> um, Texas. My Texas! My sale on the 20th was a Lululemon. What was this bra called? White, free to be free to be wild allow me to correct myself strappy bralette sold for $28 I make $22.40 I think all three of these bralettes because I found three of them will literally pay for that entire pintal which is phenomenal it is okay that's it for the 20th <laughs> you don't have more no <laughs> you didn't have more on Mr. the 21st Cowboy. on the 21st I had one <laughs> I had one too and my only one was this pair of Tory Burch Jessa oh. Croc embossed leather loafers. What? And they sold for four hundred and ninety-eight dollars, and I get three hundred. Well, whoop you. They <laughs> sold for one hundred dollars, and I get eighty. I love me a Jessa. This was the pair that I've had for like the longest. Honestly, I'm not making like a ton on these because I usually pay like fifty to sixty for them. So getting eighty, not that much. But these ones were doing, like, the worst. I feel like they want a little bit more, like, oomph to them. The Jessas, say, I think, do good have, like, a pattern, or they have a little something-something, or they have a little heel. I think with the Jessas... Like, a little bit more going for With them. the Jessas, I would still pay up for the more plain ones, but maybe, like, 25 30 for them. But mm -hmm. for ones that I'm going to pay 50 to, like, 75 I want them to be, like, floral. Yeah, I want them to be, like, snake print yeah. or something like that. Like, they still all do great. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't pay up as much for the, like, white or black ones anymore. Yeah. Okay, my one and only on the 21st went to the lovely Miss Kendra, the Valentine VIP of the, of the week. week. That's good timing. And wow. she bought one of my old sweaters. This Free People blue puff sleeve V-neck. It was like the snow something sweater. It was so cute. It was one of those like really nice, like really broken in, like distressed sweaters. I loved it. I wore this to a lot of classes. Distressed. My problem was like... Was it like fringy? You feel like distressed? Yeah, it was like, it was like Are pilly like, kind of. It was like pilly. It was wonderful. I loved it. It felt like a blanket. But I got like the risk of me getting that in paint is terrible because the sleeves hung down a little bit. And so I'd have to walk around like this and be like, hi, everybody. Don't look at me because I can't get my sweater in your paint today. Mm -hmm. She got it for $50 and I will make 40 Thank you, Kendra. And what else? That's it. On the 22nd, I it again had one. I only had one too. I... <laughs> really? Okay, so my only one was uh, so good. <laughs> I mean, it was a good brand. Stella McCartney Rare White Lace Intimate Bra. And I said rare because I couldn't find this freaking bra anywhere ever from this. So, sold for 35. I get 28. Stella McCartney bras, I mean, like, a bra anywhere from any brand is, like, 100, 150. Like, even, like, a Versace yeah. bra is gonna be, like, mm -hmm. 100 bucks. So, 35 is not that bad. No. And some of the Stella bras only actually sell for, like, 20. When mm -hmm. I found it, I knew I was, I was, like, oh my gosh. It's I'm in the money. Luxury. I mean, like, you kind of are because you paid a dollar for it. So yeah, that helps. not even. Yeah. My, I also conveniently, funny enough, sold a bra. Lululemon Blush Pink Be Zen Strappy Sports Bra. $28. $22.40. On the 23rd, I had three. Oh my god, I had three too. This is weird. My first sale was this Anthropology Falling Snow Eyelash Fuzzy Poncho. And if you remember, this actually came from the Thread Up Box. Yes, it did. Which mm -hmm. we, you guys just recently saw last yeah. week. Sold for $35 god, and I get 28 I know. We filmed that like three two weeks ago. Weeks ago maybe. <laughs> two, maybe two. Like we filmed it like a week before our vacation and you guys saw it the last day of our vacation. So I was like, oh when was this god. from? And yeah, I get 28. Then I sold for my own personal collection Ugh. this Lulu Lemon dry, dry Sense Orange Striped Top. And this sold for 20 and I get 16. It was just like that Lulu fabric that I don't like as much. It's a little more like clingy to itself. Yeah. I'm not good with the Lulu fabrics. I don't know all their names. I know I that Luan know. is a thing. Lux Lulu, something. And then but I don't something know what they are. Lulu, I don't know. But yeah, this was that one that's like clingy. And I just... 
Eh, it's soft, but it kind of like bothers me. <laughs> so I sold it. Then I sold a bundle of two items and these are both recent finds. I sold the Seven From Mankind Raven Crow Embroidered Sweatshirt. So and sure enough, that's what I thought it was supposed to be. And when I looked it up, it is. It's like a crow, which is so cool. Fun. Then I sold this Beta Brand Black Sheep Brown Wool Open Cardigan. Together they sold for 70, I get 53.98. The beta brand was actually doing super good. Maybe stray away from the pants, unless they're like flare or maybe straight because they just haven't been doing that good. But the sweater was doing great. I think some of the other stuff can do pretty good because I feel like you find the pants all the time, but I never really find anything else. Not really. Which is I honestly didn't know they made other stuff. I found, Until, one, I found a top well, one time. I like they made, back in the day. I knew they made blazers maybe. Yes. Because they make work stuff. But I mm -hmm. didn't know they made like sweaters. Okay. My first on the 23rd was this Nordic Beach Sherpa flap, Sherpa wrap fleece thing. It sold for $50. I make 40. <laughs> I don't like really know what they are because it has a hood, but there's no buttons on it. So you just kind of like. Poncho? No, because the poncho was just like one hole in the fabric, like the head hole. And this had a lot. Shrug. It was a thing. $40 for Ben's Fine. Heck yeah. Then I sold this vintage black mesh Thai celestial cropped top. Sold for $15. I will make 12 The person who bought it had a name Folklore Fairy. Love. She was a fairy. Then my last on the 23rd was the Lucky Brand Vintage Y2K Waffle Thermal Paisley Top. Sold for $22 and I make $14.62. On the 24th, I didn't have any. <gasps> this is my moment. I had three. Everybody move. My first on the 24th was this Alberto Macaulay Y2K multicolored beaded scrunch top. Sold for $23. I make $18.40. The woman who bought this is named Barb, so I don't think she's buying it as like a Y2K top. I think she's buying it to like seriously wear. Why? Because I don't think that a woman named Barb would buy this to like wear with her little mini skirt. Who knows? I hope so. Don't Barb. Judge Barb. Barb, if you're out there, don't send, judge me, Barb. send me the picture of the outfit you're wearing with this. <laughs> and then Melanie popped into my closet and bought herself the Really adorable. I might butcher this name. Eslanada. No, that's not it at all. Eslanada. Eslananda? Eslananda. Thank you. Academia Fair Isle Long Sleeve Made in Italy Sweater. This was such a soft sweater and it's perfect for the season. Turtleneck. Fair Isle, alpaca in there somewhere. It was wonderful. She got it for 36 bucks and I make 25 82 Thank you, Melanie. And then I sold one more sweater this week and it was an anthropology, funny enough, moth tan cheetah print sweater. I sold for 22 bucks and I make 17 60 Why was that funny enough? Because you sold anthropology sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just funny enough. Thank you. <laughs> So, on the 25th, I had three. I had one. My first set was this pair of Anthropology Carson Suede Flare Pants. I have had these actually for like two years, but I would never just like get rid of them mm -mm. because they're so they're nice. Beautiful. They were new with tags. The tag was like $298. Finally sold for $75 and I get $60. They were super adorable too. Mm -hmm. Then I sold literally almost like the exact same color. This Sundance Wavy Knit Turtleneck Raspberry Sweater. Man, these are like weird. Debbie's favorite sweaters. Yes. This wasn't her size or else I would have just given it to her, but it sold for 20 and I get 16. If you see these in a large, mm -hmm. send that to Debbie. In any color. She, she loves, loves them. them. Then I sold this Patricia Nash Solverelli zip top three way crossbody bag for 25 and I get 20. Ben's fine. Patricia Nash doesn't seem to have like no, near as much value she's not as you used that to. Good anymore. But thing. I wasn't going to skip it at the bins. No. Okay, my one and only on the 25th is the now bankrupt Hunter. <laughs> Barbie pink platform chunky boots sold for 25 bucks. I'll make 20. They were bins fine now, so easy peasy. And my gross for this week, and this does not count eBay or Mercari or anything, was 1,012 for Posh. My gross for Poshmark was 321, and my gross for Depop was 269. And my net was 809 and 60 cents. My net for Poshmark was 256 dollars and 80 cents. My net for Depop was 231, and then Etsy, I looked it up quick, takes like a 10% fee. eBay, I got like nine. Need something dollars put in my account the other day. So like 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. 600 nice. bucks. Especially for a week where you've been yeah. like teaching all week. All Literally, week. not even teaching. Just getting pelted. Even worse. <laughs> pelted and bombarded with information. All kinds of information that's just, oh Lord. Yeah. Anyway. So let us know how you guys' week was, what platforms are doing good uh, for you. I kind of like see myself rebuilding my relationship with eBay. I can if, see that. If I can this, see giving her a call back. If yesterday mm -hmm. is any sign for like what's to come between me and eBay. I'm like, just going to put my expensive stuff on there and see what Happens, yeah, honestly. I'm, I just I need to like eBay. My big thing is like I have to just like 
keep updated with consistent. my inventory mm -hmm. always ship on time like i feel like ebay is just a bit more stricter but there's like nothing wrong with that because like i should just be better about like delete things when they sell in other things places. on four platforms and it sold two months ago yeah probably yeah it's just hard when you cross post okay but. let's get into the packages let's get into the prison oh <laughs> so we have four <laughs> first you know up, what this one is i have an inkling of what this is and this is from a viewer of not only this channel but the second channel as well and that is katherine she said that she sent me a item from, well, sent us an item from Home Goods, and this says from Home Goods, so I'm assuming this is it. And she said that it matches a spooky kitchen towel that I got recently, and if it's for both of us, and it matches a towel, I think I, think I, know, I know what this, what this is, is. I'm excited and about I'm it. I'm really excited. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Oh, oh adorable. It is. Oh. So it's from nice. Cynthia Rowley, and it's the groom and groom pillow. It's the groom and groom pillow. I so know, yeah, I found I found the kitchen towel that has the groom and groom on it. One of okay, so if you watch the second channel, you know all this, but I have like themes picked out for decorating each room already. <laughs> and actually, I won't give away the theme if you watch the second channel, but this will go really well with the theme of Ryan and I's bedroom this year. And we oh, have a chair in there, and I'm gonna set this right on that. So Catherine, it's gonna be so cute. When I do the decorating video, be on the lookout for this pillow to pop up on the chair in our bedroom. Yes. That's like the perfect Oh, it's thing. This so, is so cute. cute. I so we, me. I think, are going to have a lot of uses for this. Yes, this we is are. so adorable. So thank you so much, Catherine. That was so nice of you. It is this so sweet. so perfect. Oh. And you, like, never see stuff it's like this. It's a bigger pillow, too. It's, like, it's nice. nice. It's nice. This is nice. But you never see stuff like this. So no. this is so newly dead. Oh, newly dead groom's pillow. That's I so love. cute. That's so funny. Okay. Enough gushing over that. It's Thank just so you, adorable. Catherine. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to a Polly Miller. I'm going to hand Ryan this box because he can do this I know one. what this is. But let's move on to I a Polly, and I will open this one too, and then you can do that one. So this is from American Mama Resale, is all that the label says. There's a note that says, just a little something I found at the bins from Kimberly. Kimberly. Let's take a peek -see, shall we? This is from, I always like to look at this state. Arizona, Tucson. Hey, Z, Kimberly, I hope you're saying cool, girlfriend. <gasps> oh, oh, look. Oh my god, adorable. This is so cute. Oh, that is so cute. It's a scarf of Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my god, with the oh, little this tombstones is so on adorable. it. Oh, I love. I could see you wearing and the this little, a lot. Oh, I absolutely love. This will. is so cute. So Oh, precious. and it's like reversible. Yes. I like that. I like this the is black. so cute. Oh, this is wonderful. It's Kimberly, super soft and like thank you. flush too. I like the little like. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Thank this you, Kimberly. Is so this is so cute. nice. And it's soft. It is. I'm like, Good for like those Minnesota winters. Those Minnesota winters. Yes, this is so cute. We still need to watch that freaking movie. I know. I haven't seen that movie since like, <sighs> like the year I came out. I probably watched it every three days when I was in college and I think I just kind of like stopped. You yeah, needed the little I was break. just like, I need to do, I need to like move now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I need to create a new name somewhere. Yeah, literally though. <laughs> That's kind of what I did. We'll say this one for last. Okay. This is the, uh, the reason I'm opening all I'm these and that. Ryan's going to just open one is because like that's the doozy one and we kind of know what's in it. So next up, this is from Georgia. Georgia. And it's from C. Brown. So I don't know their name yet, but maybe we will find Hopefully out. there's a card. I tried to. We haven't peeked at these. I just tried to like. We open them so we don't have to do that obnoxious thing where you have to like finagle with the tape and the yeah. boxes. On like I'm doing now. Literally. <laughs> C. Brown, man. I see. I just got an offer. Everybody, there might be an athleta in the next Sale sold next Saturday. Week. <laughs> so funny. Okay. What do we got? We also reuse all the packaging. Oh, yes. And we've been low on packaging, actually, recently. Okay, so this is Christina. She says that it's been such a treat learning from us, and she has a few fun spooky things in here. So Christina. I'm really excited. What Literally, kind of experiences are Theo we to box package today? time in the fall is, it's... like, my favorite. I love it. Oh, it's like a drug. It's that's, amazing. That's, let's take a peek. Okay, so this looks like a shirt. This is a t-shirt. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Bucky's! Oh my god, I love Oh my gosh, it's like the Bucky's uh, t-shirt. And this is a green that Ryan wears all the time. <gasps> What does it say? Thankful, like? blessed, blessed, Bucky's obsessed. He's obsessed. I love this shirt so much. I <laughs> am gonna wear this all the time. I, I love this. I love that. Thankful, blessed, Bucky's oh. obsessed. This looks so oh, cute. This looks oh my god. Huge. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't. I'm wearing this to school. Look at how cute this is. 
Oh, it's a medium. It's I like, squeeze into that. Yeah, That's no, adorable. I think it's like a unisex medium. This yeah. like fair aisle with what is it? Lock, lock, shock, and barrel. Lock, shock, and barrel. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, this, this is, is literally so cute, though. So adorable. You can wear this with a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> For like book character day. Perfect. Oh, yeah. God, so book. Fun. Did they write a book about that? Well, we Probably. can't do Halloween, so we can yeah. do favorite book character day. Which oh I think is adorable. What is? What in the <laughs> Lord's name? Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> Oh, it's a Oh vest. my gosh. It's from Spirit. Oh, I love this. This with is the, like, freaking amazing. With the chain. I love this. This is so fun. With the spine in the back. I can be like oh. one of the Y2K girlies and oh have like God. a moto style vest. This is, this is so fun. Cool. Okay, I think we're having a problem with the chain here. Thank you so much, Christina. There we go. Oh, I love this. Okay. Girl, this is wonderful. Thank you. I know. I can say you get a couple of oh, yeah, out of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this box. This box is from Tracy House of Emmy, one of my dearest friends. We text all the time. I love her. And she is my Disney hookup. So, she just got to go jealous. And she was sending me pictures of things. So, I have some idea of the potential that could be in this box, but I don't have any guarantees. Jack and Ryan, a little spooky season. Happy mail for you, Tracy House of Emmy. P.S. Ryan, Mummy Mickey is coming soon. Soon, needed to find a box for him. She's an her. icon. She's also, she just also has, such a genuinely nice person. Not to air out her entire life, but she has the cutest like 1950s house. Is so she? whenever she sends me pictures of like her Halloween decorations, it's just like, oh, the decorations are adorable. I love your bathroom cabinet. <laughs> it's <laughs> wonderful. Okay. I don't know what's in here, but Ryan has been like I have conversing with her. Some idea, I think. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole little mistaken. gift. Okay. Oh. Ryan. Oh, what is this? This is gonna be an experience. Oh, Disney Mickey Mouse. <gasps> oh, I'm obsessed with this. This is so oh, cute. Oh, that is so oh, cute. I love this so much. Yeah, there's little Mickey's in that it. That is so cute. Oh, oh my I gosh, this, this is so much. So I'm gonna wear the crap soft. out of this. Tracy, this is so nice. Oh. That is so Oh, this is cute. the ticket. This is the moment. Look at this. Oh, and it fits. The arms aren't like weirdly too short. Oh my gosh, that's I, so cute. I love this so much. This that's is so dog. nice. Okay. That's a pumpkin Thank spice Tracy. latte, Sherpa. <laughs> Jack. Some, ooh, some vintage ephemera from my collection. <gasps> and this. Oh my gosh, this oh, is like I right love. up my alley. Tracy, I'm gonna put this in my office somewhere. Oh this yeah. Is Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, there's more. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. This, I can't get over how soft this is, honestly. I love that she put that little envelope on How did she get yeah, it? Oh my god, look at all these little things. Aww. Uh, <laughs> cute! So cute. This little... Like all little Small pumpkin, pumpkin sticker, a little this little like a orange little ticket. ticket, this little bay rum. <laughs> I love that. These little orange tickets as well. This little like orange bag. Oh my gosh, this like vintage pharmacy stamp. That looks like oh, some little like this. witchy stuff. Oh my oh, gosh. Look at her. This little like witch. This little like Oh, it's a Jack card with like the Cardinals on it. Um, the Bay Rum was sold at the Owl Drug Store. Oh, I which love that. Which I think that. is adorable. 55, oh, this, is this like a coupon? I hope, I hope so. so. Can I still use it? We go to <laughs> Muncie, Indiana and try to use a coupon. Label. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, these are so Tracy, cute. Tracy, these are so nice. I love these. I'll use these as little details in like my office. Yes. Thank you. Next has my name on it. I will give this one to Jack because this one has his name on it. Mm. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm putting this in my classroom immediately. It's Oogie Boogie. Cute. I love him. Oh, they're like almost. And then little Jack Skeleton. They're almost like little Funko. Oh, do they but... like. Oh, I think, wait. There's like something in them. Are they full of candy? I don't know. I don't know how to open this. Candy case with candy inside. Oh, okay. So you take the little thing out and then pull his little head open. Oh, he's full of gum. Gum. Cute! Yeah, oh, Tracy. I love these, thank you. To me, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. She sent this Joanna Parker set of oh, kitchen so freaking cute. towels. So I have the drying mat actually that matches these. So this is freaking perfect. If you do not watch the second channel, Joanna Parker is my absolute oh. favorite Halloween decor designer ever. It's always this like folk style, vintage colorway stuff. Anything and everything that she makes. Even the non-Halloween stuff, like the Christmas stuff, the Valentine's Day stuff. So good. Thank you Literally so much, Tracy. so good. These are so cute. Okay, I am staring at something in here. It's in a coach box. This is Ryan. Disney Park mug is what it says on the front. So let's, I didn't know Coach made mugs. I didn't either. I went to the Coach store when I went to Disney Springs, if you're familiar, and I did buy a keychain. I had to, I couldn't, I couldn't not. What do we have? Blink. 
Oh, oh, look! Oh my god! Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I, never, I never knew they made mugs. What? I mean, this is adorable. Oh, that's really cute. The like vintage look of kind of like the lettering and the. This is so precious. I love this so much. That's adorable. And can red. I can I dishwash it? Oh. Do not microwave dishwasher safe. Oh really? Ah men. That is adorable. Tracy, phenomenal. Thank you. This is so sweet. Okay, and then I think these are the last two part of yours. These are probably for us. These are the Halloween IKEA bags, and I am obsessed. They are I do so have some good. of these, but there is no such thing as too many IKEA bags. No, there isn't. Especially it's when they're spooky. Especially ones. in this house. So IKEA had their first Halloween collection this year, and these are like bat shaped. Even though I almost think they're more like a jack o' lantern mouth, in my opinion. But yeah, these are like the bats. It's ones. like it's definitely IKEA does bats. Yeah, absolutely. And then this is like an orange and black one. Thank you so much, Tracy. I already like have a use for all my other ones, so now so so cute. And last, this one says me. <laughs> That reminds me of the girl at the bins. Last time we were there, and she ran up with a little turtle bracelet and put it on me. Like, literally physically put it on me. And just said, you need to buy this. And then literally ran away like a little fairy and went, <laughs> She gave me a pen. And then she kind of, like, disappeared. Yeah, she, she was like, gone. Was she real? No. Was I seeing things? Am I okay? Okay, I do know what these are. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this a shirt? Is this a shirt? <sighs> oh! <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. I think it's pajamas, if I'm not it's mistaken. It's freaking pajamas? Yeah. Is this pants? Yeah. Are they pajamas? Ah! I think so. I think they are pajamas. Cute! Oh my gosh, it's the spooky scare. I didn't even know they made, like, I knew they made the denim jacket. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna wear these. I not love even, these. Not even just as pajamas. I'm I just gonna pajamas. wear these. Yeah. Like, these these are, are nice. nice pants. These are thick. I don't know if they are just pajamas. They're like super, I'll super thick for being pajamas. And they have pockets. And Oh my gosh, these are freaking adorable. These are so I didn't even know cute. these existed. I love these. Tracy. Oh, thank you adorable. so much. I'm going to wear these like all the time. These are so cute. The only Disney thing I like. The spooky, spooky scary, scary skeletons. skeletons, the silly Disney <gasps> stuff. It's so cute. Oh. We're spoiled. Yeah, I thank know. You, Tracy. Tracy, this, this was, was too wonderful. Much. Oh. Thank you all so much. This, this was so, so nice. nice. I we love, love you guys. Stuff. Thank you. Never feel like you need to send us anything. Ever. No, please don't. But send us we car. really appreciate these. Yeah, <laughs> I, love I these. very much I'm do. Obsessed. My new Disney jacket. Yes. Thank you guys love. so much. And thank you everyone for watching as well. We will see you. Oh, yes. We will see you on Tuesday for the trend report fall 2023. I'm so excited. Yes, we will. So we'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.